Okay, in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what are called special triangles. Now, why are they special? Because we, all, we know a little bit about triangles. And let's actually talk a little bit about what we know about triangles. Okay, so when you think of a triangle, you think of something that looks like that, don't you? And one of the things that probably everyone knows about triangles is that when you add up all the angles inside of a triangle, so we'll call this angle A, we'll call that angle B, and we'll call that angle C, and a lot of times you'll see it uh, described by putting like a little semicircle across whatever that angle is. So like angle uh, A plus angle B plus angle C, if you add all those angles up, you're going to get 100 and 80 degrees. Now that's one of the universal truths that we know about triangles, okay? Now special triangles are special because in their angles they have one of the angles that looks like this. Now notice that there's like a little box there. That means that one of these angles is 90 degrees, okay? So now we know that one of them is 90. So if we were to substitute one of these angles here for 90, then we'll just say angle B. I'm just going to abbreviate by, by not putting that there, but and then this is, just means angle plus angle C is equal to 180. Basically what that tells me is that the sum of the other two angles have to equal, subtract that from both sides, and you'll get one of the two of the angles rather is equal to 90 degrees. Alright, so in this particular triangle over here, this angle and this angle will add up to 90 degrees. Okay, and the same thing with this triangle here. Now, again, let's go back to why they call these special triangles. Well, two triangles that are of particular note are when this angle and this angle are 45 degrees. So you get what's called a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. And sometimes you'll see it written like this. Okay, and then sometimes they'll, they'll put the little triangle right there. So 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. The other angle that's, that's of particular importance, other triangle rather, is what they call a 30, 60, 90. Now notice this angle is a little bit smaller, so we'll, that'll be the 30 degrees, and this one's a little larger. We'll call that the 60 degree triangle. And these can flip-flop too. You can have the 30 down here and the 60 up here. It really doesn't make any difference. But this kind of a triangle is called a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Why are these important? Well, it's, we're, they're important because they actually show up quite a bit in, um, in our world, okay? So what we've done is we've memorized what the proportions are, what the lengths are of each side of these triangles, and people just tend to remember what those are, okay? So this is what you should remember for this 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. This side, the side opposite the 90 degree angle, is called the hypotenuse. And again, the side opposite the 90 degree triangle is called the hypotenuse. So we'll just do the same thing here too. This side the side adjacent or next to the 90 degree triangles are called the legs. Now, a little bit of a, something to notice. In a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, the legs are equal. Okay? So the two legs are actually equal to one another. In a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, they're not. They're not twice as long, but they are, they are different. We call this side the short leg. And you can kind of eyeball it when you see the triangle. You can call that the short leg. And we call this other side the long leg. Okay? That's starting to look a little bit messy, so let me just go down here a little bit. There 
here's the 90, and that means, again, that means a 90 degree angle, and we know that these are both 45, right? The proportions, then, of a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle are this. If these two legs are the same, that we know, and let's just say that they're equal to a length of 1, just for the heck of it. If that's a length of 1, then that's a length of 1, because exactly the, they're exactly the same. The length of this side is radical 2. Now, how do we know that? They, these proportions will always be the same. For any 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, this is going to hold true for the legs, and this is going to hold true for the hypotenuse. How do we know that? Well, we can actually do the Pythagorean theorem. I don't know if you remember that one, but it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And remember that the c needs to be the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and plug these numbers in to the a squared plus b squared equals c squared and see what we come up with for an answer and see if these hold true. Well, according to this, we'll call this side the a, we'll call this side the b, and we'll call this side the c. 1 squared plus 1 squared will equal to radical 2 quantity squared. Let's see if that works. 1 squared is 1 plus 1. And if you square a square root, these cancel, and you get 2. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and that is a correct answer. So these proportions will hold for all 45, 45, 90 degree triangles, OK? Just as an example of how I'd extend that, let's take another example. And let's say we know that this is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, all right? And let's say that we know what this side is. Let's say we know that this side is radical 5, okay? So what do we know about these other two lengths? Let's see if we can figure it out. Since these are, this is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, this is given, okay? We know that this length is equal to this length. So we can just label that as radical 5. We know that this side is one side times radical 2. So we're going to say radical 5 times radical 2. Again, go back up to the previous one that we know about. We know that this side, right, our regular special triangle, is just 1 times radical 2. That's what the proportion is. So down here we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to take a side and multiply it by radical 2. And that gives us a thing of radical 10, an answer of radical 10. All right? Let's see if that's actually true. Remember, we can just use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we know that a squared is radical 5 plus radical 5. And this, we'll say that we just pretend we won't know what that is. We'll just call it c squared. Let's see what happens. The square root of 5 squared makes those disappear, and you end up with 5. The square root of 5 squared, again, is 5, and that's equal to c squared. That gives me 10. You take the square root of both sides. Remember, these cancel, and you end up with the square root of 10 is equal to c, which is what we predicted up here. Okay? I hope that was helpful. Now let's look at a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle and see what the proportions are there, okay? Now, in a 30, 60, 90, what do we know? We know that that's a right tr triangle. We know that a squared plus b squared will equal to the hypotenuse squared, okay? So we do know that. What are the proportions for this special triangle? Well, the proportions are 1, the hypotenuse is going to be 2 times the short leg, and the long leg is going to be equal to what? Radical 3. 
Okay, so in a special 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, short leg, we'll call it one. It could be any number, but we'll just call it one. The hypotenuse is going to be equal to two times the short leg. And in this case, we're going to say it's equal to two. And the long leg is going to be equal to the short leg times radical three. And in this case, it's just going to be one times radical three. So you can hold that's going to be true for all 30, 60, 90 degree triangles. Now let's go ahead and do an example problem. Okay. Here's my 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now let's pretend, again I know that that's a 30, 60, 90, and let's pretend that we know one of the sides. Let's pretend that we know that this side is equal to 8. The hypotenuse is equal to 8. Can you figure out the other two sides? Well, if we know what the proportions are, we know that the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg. So this short leg should be equal to 4. And if we know the short leg, we know that the long leg is the short leg times radical 3. Now let's see if that's actually true. Okay, and how do we figure that out? Again, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. This side squared plus this side squared should equal to that side squared. So I'm going to get 4 squared plus 4 radical 3 squared is equal to 8 squared. Let's see if that's true. 4 squared is 16. This is going to be equal to 4 radical 3 squared is equal to 16. That cancels this out, so it's 16 times 3, and that's equal to 64. 16 times 3 is actually 48 plus 16, and sure enough, 16 plus 48 is equal to 64. So it's actually true. Now, this is the long way of doing the problem, right? If you know your proportions in your special triangles, you can immediately fill in those numbers. And that's what I strongly suggest you learn because these, like I said, these two types of triangles, the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90, show up over and over.